Hi, everybody. Matt Bernier joined by Woodbine analyst Jeff Bratt taking a look at the Saturday Woodbine play. The day happens to be race number eight, happens to be a stakes race for two-year-old fillies going six furlongs on the main track. It's the Victorian Queen. And Jeff, it's not a big field in here. There's only seven signed on, but there is a horse in here that I know you're very keen on betting, hopefully, on Saturday at a square price breaking from the inside. Tell us a little bit about Preferred Guest. Yeah, I was kind of hoping she wouldn't get the rail, but she got the rail, unfortunately, in this race. So she kind of grabbed my attention. We have every year a night in which we celebrate horses have gone through a local sale and uh, they're eligible for these rich races. And one of them was the Muskoka Stakes. And that's where she debuted for conditioner Mark Cassie. She lost to a very impressive two-year-old by the name of Speedy Soul. But what I liked about her is, uh, we'll take a look at her replay. She had a stop well, halfway Einstein's down the stretch and gained her momentum it. yet again. She's way off the pace. We want to watch the number nine in this race right along the inside. She is absolutely full of run. Now, this race wasn't six and a half furlongs. We will be shortening up to go six. But you would think now with that race under her belt that maybe she'll be a little bit closer to the pace. You can see right there she has a stop and alter course and eventually will lose by about four lengths. She does get the second place position on the podium. And the one thing that you might notice there is the time of the race was 118 and two. So that doesn't seem all that fast. But for me, on August the 29th here at Woodbine, that was the slowest track we've had all year. I don't know why but it was just such a slow, slow track. So I think that time is a lot better than what it looks. I think preferred guests is the play here at a decent price. My only uh, fear is, is this going to be the wise guy horse because of that trouble trip and maybe a little bit over bet? I'll tell you what, though, the fact that she was able to continue on, I wouldn't have faulted any horse, especially a two-year-old, for coming up on that kind of traffic, stopping, losing momentum, and just packing it in and finishing mid-pack. The fact that she rallied on to finish second, I think that speaks volumes about the ability there and what you have for Mark Cassie. I'm curious your thoughts. I hate to do it. I think I'm going to go kind of chalky again here. The four horse noticed me. She's taking money in each of her first two lifetime starts yep. with Catherine Day Phillips. And I, look, the first start, she went out and she was only beaten by a neck by Speedy Soul, who came back and won that right. Muskoka that you spoke of. Um, and I realized in the return effort, she came back and she broke her maiden, but she regressed significantly from a figure standpoint. I just liked everything about it, with the exception of, you want to talk about a dream trip. It was the opposite <laughs> of the trip that your filly had in her race. The rail just opened up beautifully and noticed me was able to shoot on through. But I just get the feeling that she is a professional two-year-old. I like what she does out there. And I also think there's a scenario, if you think the three, uh, Moxmall, is, yep. am I pronouncing that correctly, along with the five silent mistake for Norm McKnight, if you think that they're going to go and set an honest pace, perhaps notice me can sit in just behind. She may not be a great bet, but I think she is one of the more likely win contenders in here. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about the time of her last race. You know, she, like you said, she did get a dream trip. She just did what she had to on that day. She wasn't overly extended. I think there's a lot left in the gas tank. She gets a beautiful draw today as well, or on Saturday, I should say. So I do think that Notice Me is, is a horse that's got a great shot. The only thing that worries me a little bit with your selection is I think six furlongs is a little bit too short for her. That's my yeah. only concern because she just got rolling, I felt, in her debut. She might still be good enough to win this race. That's the only thing that worries me with Notice Me, but the talent is definitely there. And I'm glad that you brought up Silent Mistake because Silent Mistake was in the same race as Preferred Guest first time out. And for a first-time starter, you're on a Wednesday night, you're racing under the lights, and you've got post-14 in a 14-horse field. I thought this horse ran great for a first career start, but Norm McKnight does not have great stats with two-year-olds. That's the one category he's very weak in. I think you bring up a big piece about notice me. There's a real scenario, I think, with two turns, additional distance, this could be yeah. a filly that really finds her best stride. But we'll take a shot with her in the eighth race at Woodbine on Saturday. It happens to be the Woodbine play of the day, the Victorian Queen. Jeff is going to go with the trip horse down on the inside, the number one preferred guest. Hopefully things are a little bit cleaner this time around. And I'm going to go with the number four, notice me, for Catherine Day Phillips. Scheduled post time for race number eight on Saturday at Woodbine. The Victorian Queen is 4.58 Eastern. Good luck.